I'll take one death on that when I get close to a freaking checkpoint, but not if not two deaths. That's stupid. ready to split and I freaking missed my split or missed my jump oh well that would have been a really good level one to be honest going under that is just as quick just as long as I get back up really fast I might just try to do that every time it doesn't risk my mask that easily that much I really like to keep my mask through this level and into the next. There we go. Very surprised that thing didn't clip me. Hitbox is so broken on this game. This might be a really good level too. Yes. Probably gold split. Yep. That was really nice. Take it nice and easy through this level. Really good cycle again. Incoming invincibility. Doesn't really matter though. Although I can get through this part kind of easier. Get that, get it. Yes! This will be a really good level 3. I was really hoping I wouldn't screw up that jump. Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, come on. Don't hit those. I really need to get a file and just start practicing the last warp room. Make my life a lot easier. Oh, come on. I'll be right back. Hey. Right. Should be the end of that. Oh, no. I figured I'd clip it. Really good level three or four. Uh, I'm going to lose a little bit of time here because I can't damage boost. I can damage boost a little bit, but not as much as I want. Better to come in here with one mask other than zero. But I'd rather have two coming in here. Saves a lot of time. I can just zip through that part right there. Oh, 
Oh, come on, don't do that. Stop that. Oops. Given that I don't screw this tremendously, this should be a great thing or a great loop one or a warp one. Yeah, this would be a really good warp one. No. I'll keep going. Good cycle. Uh. Howdy. No, you're good. Xander's still gone. I don't know where he is. Oh, there was a mask in there? Oh my god, I can damage boost a lot of here. I swear they're random down here. Well, I guess I'm watching Deadpool today. Hey, have you seen it yet? I haven't seen it yet. Oh my god, it's so good. Is it? Yeah, it's probably my favorite movie I've seen in the last five years. It's so good. It's so funny. I promise you will not stop laughing. I love every single little bit of Deadpool. That's so I funny. Love his comics. I love his fan art. Is just everything. His character is just is just awesome. I love him. Ryan Reynolds did it really well. I was really happy how he did everything. I thought he first. That's, yeah, Wade Wilson. That's who he plays. Or, that's who he's been played by. Is, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Which is kind of convenient. Ryan Reynolds, Wade Wilson. Kind of how that works. <laughs> this is kind of ironic to me. But he does really well with the part. And all the, uh, the Ajax jokes make me, make me laugh. Good to know. What's my name? They've all gotten that none of none of that will ever get old. As soon as that movie's released on DVD, I'm buying like twelve copies. <laughs> I swear it's so good. It's so funny. I can't wait. Ah! It's been out for a while now, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. About a month? Maybe. Right about. Cause when I saw it, I'm pretty sure it was like after a week it came out, and there was like a big sh shit blizzard, and I got snowed in at the movies. It was really bad. That sounds fun. It was fun actually, cause the movies is like connected to the mall, so like it was not a problem at all. <laughs> Where'd Xander go? I don't know, he said he'd be back. And I was like, 
15 minutes ago, maybe? Darn it. Why? <laughs> no reason. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What level is this? Level 7. Sorry, hold on. I'm really tired. What time is it? It's only 4.30. I got plenty of time before my soccer game. Oh my god, I missed that completely. That sucks. It's a loss of like a second, but still. Tiny optimizations. They really matter. Especially when speedrunning. Literally. Although I'm probably going to lose a lot of time in the last warp room. Because I suck at the last two run, levels. Um, Spongebob Battle Freak Uni Bottom. Oh, that game was so fun. I love Which that version? Game. Hold on, which version? Which version? Uh, PS2. Oh, okay. Because there was that one for the Game Boy Color that I thought was freaking impossible. There's a version for the Game Boy Color. It, it might be called something different. I need to buy it. I don't remember what it was called. You could probably look it up and find it really easily. It was really hard. Or at least it was. I was really young when I had it. I need a game right now. Because mm -hmm. I have a Game Boy Color. Or rather a Game Boy SP. Oh, uh, I was about to say you have a Game Boy Color? Fuck, let me cop. I love having... I love actually having the system... didn't have the entire Nintendo library with, like, three consoles. Or, er, the oh, come on. Uh, entire handheld library with two or three consoles. Pretty much. That's why I love Nintendo. Or all of them with one, a computer. Nope. Oh, I missed a split. You missed a split? I can't believe you. That means you're bad. Skip that. Thank you, Xander. Can't believe I forgot to split, because this would have been a really good split right here. Yeah, that's a really, that's a very gold split. Save of 20 seconds. Thank you so much. Is it the Spongebob, um, is it the Spongebob Legends of the Lost Spatula? That might be the one. Because that's the only result I'm getting. That, that's probably it. I thought that game was harder than any other game that I had for my Game Boy Color at the time. Or, Re or Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I'm pretty sure it's the, the Golden Spatula. Sheing, Sparkle, Sparkle. I need the uh, 100% battle for Bikini Bottom because that game's actually quite fun. Pixel was just talking about that. He used to speedrun it. I always could never get past 45 minutes. Like, I never, I never got a sub 45 ever in my life. GG. Because there's one. There's one glitch. In the, um, in, like, one beach level, I forget what it's called, um, Goo Lagoon, and uh, you can Goo skip Lagoon. from island to island, you can skip from island to island just by, like, spamming it, it glitches, and you can literally fly around the whole entire map, and you can literally, oh. if you get to a specific island, which is really hard to do, if you can get to a specific island and spam, you can start what flying the? and get it, and get to the end of the map in two minutes. <laughs> I got really lucky there. I thought that was the one that drops to the nitros. I was wrong. <gasps> oh my god, what a skip right there. That really scared me. I didn't think I was gonna get that. You should buy that game again. Speed run it. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, I have... fuck. I have free McBoot. 
Ooh, you know what game I want to speed run now? Crash no. 2. Any percent? Mm hmm. No go or game over abuse or no game over abuse? I forget. I forget what game over abuse. Like how you, if you, uh, if you game over, uh, you can still take items with you. How does that work? Like you can, um, like you can chain them. Huh. Like if you, how do I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you'd have to look it up. It's really weird. Speedrunning, uh, Battle for the Bottom, uh, 100%, everything unlocked is basically impossible to speedrun. In less than like a week, huh. because you have to glitch the game to get four specific spatulas, and you have to use those specific spatulas in an order to get another spatula. What, Marty? I'm scared. Um, and it's retarded really fun to do. because there's a broken part of uh, the dream sequence. That you have to get the last spatula for. And it's everyone's last. And it's completely awful. To try oh, and get. Crap. Because you have to make it to the top of the map. Uh, which you already have to like spam and fly to it. And it's just, it's just, it's just retarded. That whole entire game is really broken. But mm -hmm. it's really complete. <laughs> I don't that know how sense. else to explain it. I don't know how else to explain it. Like you can break it really easy, but it, but there's no like missing textures or anything that you can skip by. If I learn uh, all the songs, I might speedrun Rock Band Free Vocals Full Game SC. Well, that'd be fun, honestly. It'd be hard. Oh, come on. We're out of time on the split. Time for engine. If I can get a really good engine, I'll be happy. <sighs> Engine's like my biggest fear in a speedrun. Alright, I guess it's time to hook up my computer. That was really good. So it has a uh, disk drive. I go to the top. Come on, go. Thank you. It's going to be a three cycle for sure, then. If I could manage to get practice him enough, I could probably two cycle him if I was really, really good. Yeah, that was a really good engine. Time for my first Kryptonite Warp Room 3. Here, incoming Troller Bear. Troller Bear did not phase me today. I have double jump. I always, like, briefly forget. I just realized Crash 3 at 80% will be way easier because my Crash 2 disc is scratched. Even if it's scratched, um, run it as a fat. Do you, you have, like, a fast loading on your. It's, it's scratched in that it can't get. It can't load bosses. Uh, it would be impossible to speedrun. <laughs> Unless I just wanted to do first warp room speedrun. Which people do. I'm gonna start doing that with uh with this game so I can start practicing the warp rooms. No one no one, there's like no leaderboard for it, but I don't know why people haven't tried it yet. Why well, just need to capture your card? Invest in one. Invest in a cheap one. How much are cheap ones? Eighty dollars. Okay. It's not too bad. You can get a PVR two for a little over a hundred dollars. That's what I have. They last a long time and they have really good quality. Really smart of me not to try and cycle through that. This will be a really good level 11. If I don't die. 
I think we're good. Yep. See why. First level, yeah. first kind of levels that annoy me the most, the space levels, the future levels, I should say. How ahead are you on this run? Probably a minute. Oh, wow. This is a really good run right now. I've died a few times in places that I really shouldn't have, but my optimization optimizations are getting a little bit better. Well, your level 11 was 30 seconds ahead. Yeah, but all in all, I'm like a minute ahead. Total. But I'm probably going to catch... Really I'm, I'm probably going to go down to like 30 minutes. Or 30 seconds I really want to start running Spyro 2 because it can take you like less than 20 minutes if you do it correctly. You can do it in less than 5 minutes if you um, if you break it the right way. <laughs> That's gotta, not like, impossible to, though. Not that really. That is impossible. You have to like cut out loading zones and all that crap. It's really weird. I know how to do it. I just, I've, I've never really tried it. I don't have the game anymore to actually try it. Ah, uh, oh, that was really good. Here's the part where I screw up at on this level. Mm, rightfully so that I didn't try to force that. If I go deathless on this level, I'll be really happy. Just try and take my time through the rest of this level to be probably really good. Think we're gonna be okay? Oh yes, I think. Maybe. This is the last stretch right here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Minus a minute and thirty-two. Whoa. I told you. That's like the big one. Those levels screw me up so bad because I try to rush it. Uh -huh. And I kind of just took my time. And I, I kind of have that, me that level memorized a little bit now, so it's a little bit better. But if I practice it a little bit more, I could probably do a lot bigger time save than that. But that's definitely my best split on that level itself. Or I should say my best run because I went deathless. I've never done deathless in that level before. Oh my... That shark pop wrecked me. Trinity sent me a Snapchat. Oh, come on. Oh, T.Y., those eels right there. If you don't hit them both, you're dead. Thank you. Really? Okay, there we go. I about, I about cried if I wasn't going to either kill him or get away. Yeah, I should probably take my time to the next checkpoint. There it is. There we go. Oh, frick, man. I'm still ahead, but I need to, like, calm down. Because I could do one level that I'm not good at really well, and then the next level I'll just screw up. I do that so much. This is the last stretch, I'm pretty sure, right here. I just realized something. What's that? You could prove... It wouldn't be exactly efficient, but if I wanted to play Twin Sanity and do a uh, glitchless any percent, you can show the time, like it shows the time on the on the like the file select. Mm -hmm. You also you could save you, you also could just like um, actually use your splits and kind of like reference it as well. Yeah, is there like an app? There might be. You'd have to look. Just look up, like, Live Split or something for iPhone. There might be something. This level might screw me yeah, up. Yeah, you can look at the time and then load the file. Or, like, save your game when you get back to Iceberg Lab. It would be a little over whatever your actual time was for cutscene purposes, but... For having to watch that ending cutscene. Actually, I don't know if you have to watch that. No, I, I believe time is when you do the last bit of damage. Or the the ending cutscene starts, I should say. I'm pretty sure that's what time is. This level usually isn't bad, so I should be okay. Look, my sum of best is getting a lot better. 
Like, I'm almost down to sub-40 on some of Best's. I'm currently at sub-42 for some of Best, which is really nice. And if I clean up my fifth warp room, that's definitely going to go down even further. I could probably damage boost that if I got if I felt comfortable with this next area, but I'm not. So, because there's all these guys that shoot like um, arrows at you, arrowheads. Oh come on! Now that I lost my mask, there, I really have to. There is one. It's two bucks. Two bucks. That's su that sucks. Yeah. What? Uh, speed minus, runs live mobile. Minus a minute and 46 on that split, too. That's really good. Alright, the next flight level. This should take me to about 28 minutes, 30 seconds. Took me 7 minutes to, oh, to split that? Oh, never mind. That's my time save. I, I lied. Don't pay attention to anything I said. I'm going to be really ahead here in a minute. Once I finish this level. I'm really hoping that I have a really good, um, what's it called? Warp Room 4. Because I'm pretty sure by this point, I was at about 30 minutes on my last pre PB. So, I'll be right back. Alright. Something my tax man. I don't know what time you typed that, so I'm sorry if you typed that a little bit earlier. I have my Twitch chat on a separate screen. And it's kind of like in a small window. some health right now a health balloon would be fantastic and not getting hit by these flares rockets roman candles whatever they are here i don't know i'll get some health out of these on the third or fourth one the next one and then i'll get a life too all right that's a big help i should be sub 30 coming out of this level Mm, probably sub 31 going into warp 4. Just my guess. Because Tiny's a really, 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 really short boss battle. Aside from a few deaths, that was a really good warp 3. I'm happy with that. That is such a huge split almost three minutes <sighs> oh almost died Really good, tiny. 
literally three minutes ahead. All right. Did you see Final. three minutes ahead? Three minutes ahead. Oh my god. Look at the stream. I'm about to do I just close it out. I'm gonna win. As long as I have a really good warp four, this could potentially be sub 40. This has the potential to be sub 40. I'm gonna take my time with the last two levels, but I really have to kind of bust my balls on the first couple. Because I'm not terrible at them. Luckily, the underwater level isn't bad in this game, or this warp. Um, there's another flight level, which is long, but it's really easy. So it's kind of like a just stay awake and don't die. Um, and then this level, this isn't really that bad as long as I take my time. I really have to bust my balls with the uh, underwater level, though. That's like the one. I'm like really nervous. Yeah, there's, there's another future level. Yeah, there's two in this one, and it's the worst one. It's the last level in the game. Uh, and the second to last level in the game, level 20, or 19, um, mm -hmm. is the sewer level. And it's the one oh, that has, all, it has, it's the one that has all those frogs. Oh, that yeah. have like the really odd hitboxes. <laughs> You're trying 100% this game. Oh my god, no. To be honest, if I meet my, if I meet a really good goal, I might. Get over, get over, get over. Alright, good. I didn't lose my mask off that, I'm kind of surprised. Safety strats here. Thank God for that checkpoint. This is where it starts getting rough in this level. These nitrous can be a problem. And that porcupine being a troll on the other side of that is also an issue. I don't do that. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, wow, that was really close. I went deathless. That's beautiful. Here comes the other un underwater level. Ah, uh, troll eel, TY. I forgot all about him. TY for that mask. Get damage boost if I need to. And I have, I'm not vulnerable. down route i don't think this will be sub 40 not because of my track record know, but it because looks like it it looks like I, it i don't know because of the fact if you that, finish this level you will be like well no because the last levels are really long yeah. like even deathless last level will take like a minute and a half two minutes the flight level alone will take three minutes and not to mention the sewer level will take about two minutes as well cortex will take about a minute this is going to be sub 41, sub 42, is provided I don't, you know, screw it, roy screw it up royally. Well, you still got like 10 minutes. I know, but still, believe me, I was just a little bit behind this pace on my last PB, and I, I screwed it up royally, and that's how I came up with the uh, 48 minute one, 49 minute. I don't even remember how much it was. I believe it was 49. But do you know how big of a time jump that is to go from, like, 49 to the possibility of a sub-40? Oh, yeah. That's huge. I'm pretty sure this would be third or fourth place, too. Should be really nice. I'll probably come out of this level just above 35, just under it. Actually, this is close to the end right now. Crystal's right around this corner. And this is the end. Nice. Here's the flight level. This will probably take me to 37, even. Maybe a little bit more. I'm probably saying 38 at the most. This will... Uh, I'm saying this is going to be sub 43. Just to account for error. Look at that gold split, though. Minus 336. As long as I don't screw up the last two levels, this will be a really, 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 really good run. Thinking about it, the only way I could actually get um, my speedrun recorded is with your phone if I... or your iPad. Well, no. Well, that, well, if it had any storage, then sure. Oh, you don't have storage. That's the problem. The only other option I thought of was if I if I, well, got a case you, for this thing, you set it up somewhere and had somebody record it. Well, you could live stream with your with your iPad. That's true. 
I might be able to save the live stream. Yeah. Oh, on cool. Twitch, yeah, you can, uh, um, what's it called? Archive you all your, you can archive everything. And if there's Wait, something you can you stream want... on mobile on Twitch? Uh, I believe so. There, I bet there's an app. I don't know if you can for sure, but there's probably an app. I wouldn't doubt it. I'll look it up after this. We're about a minute away from a world record. Really? 36 minutes? Yeah, it's like, well, it's a late 36. It's almost 37 minutes, but it's barely sub 37. Jeez. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'll ever get that, but I could probably get sub 40. You can work towards it, though. I could work sub 40. If I get sub 42, I might post, or might submit this for my SGDQ. Do it. But only if it's sub 42 or very, very close. But the thing is, if I do that and I get a better time, I don't know if I can edit my, my submission, though. That's the thing. Because if I get a sub 42 and then I get a sub 40, then it's like, that's, that's a big time save. Especially this during level, still. This level does not look fun. Well, I mean, it's not hard. It's just staying awake. Well, yeah, so I mean, it does not look fun at all. When did I say I would try to? When I would come out of this level, was it thirty-seven and thirty-eight? 38. I mean, you said thirty-eight. I said thirty-eight. 38 That's what most. I thought. That's what I said. Thirty-eight. It might be a little bit over thirty-eight. Because I still have one more blimp. Which would still put that would put me almost four minutes ahead. <coughs> four minutes. Jesus. I could save about a minute in the sewer level and save another minute in the last level, in the least, giving me 42, 43. Because already with my time saves, so I'm, if I'm minus four minutes, that puts me at 45, <laughs> sub 45. And then with um, another minute save between both the other levels, then yeah. TBH, if you get another good run, we should race to Insanity again and actually get it done. This will probably be a really good run. Yeah, this is going to be just over 38, depending when it gets me close enough in range for the blimp. Three, two, one. Alright, now we got the Nightmare. Nightmare levels. <laughs> Literally, they're like my worst nightmare in a run. Three minutes and 36 seconds ahead. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, I died by the first frog already. I gotta come on top of the frogs. That sounded really wrong, but... It's like, I cannot be under them at any given time. I really have to be careful. First checkpoint... Thank you. Ah, come on. Another checkpoint. Incoming frog, I'm pretty sure there's two. I'm pretty sure this, nope, not yet. Oh, I figured I was out of range. I'll wait this guy. Uh, would have liked to keep that mask so I could damage boost these guys. But whatever. Oh, that was really close. Gotta be careful here. Alright, last checkpoint. This is where things get really bad. There's a lot of frogs. Yeah, we're coming up on 40. This is not a sub-40 run, not even close. But definitely sub-43. Sub-42 if you're lucky. I doubt it. I think I'm good. I think I'm in the clear. I think I had one death in this level. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. More, just one for the first. Yes. Part. Minus four minutes and fourteen seconds. All right. All right. All right. Last that level. puts you at it. That puts you at at least a minus forty. Uh, minus forty four. A sub forty four. Yeah. I already lost my mask. That, I don't like that. There's another mask. Great. You don't get any more masks in this level. And I already lost my other mask. Are you kidding me? There's a checkpoint. That's what I want to see. I just got to take my time in this level. If I don't rush it, I should... I'll go deathless. The thing about it is that there's this one porcupine that... Uh, you have to wait him out while you're on a trampoline off screen. And you have to check and make sure and see if he's showing his uh, quills or not. Mm -hmm. And if he is, you have to go back. And last time on my, P my last PB... Um, I checked three times in a row, and every single time he was still showing them, so I had to just go for it. It's literally ridiculous. Like, this level's- th this is it right here. I just logged on to my old PC just to burn an ISO. There we go. He didn't show me first time. And checkpoint, too. I'm so happy. This might be sub-43. This will not be sub-42, though. No. I'm already at 42, just about. I'm not even at the end of the level. I'm close. If I don't have any more deaths, this could be sub-43. Last checkpoint. But this, this home stretch isn't that bad. Oh, I forgot there's one more checkpoint. That's a really short interval. Good. Don't troll me. Don't troll me. Thank you so much. No! Oh, that sucks. I'm still on good time, but that sucks. It would have been really nice to go deathless in this level. I got trolled. Get out of my way. Uh... That should be the end. Yes! It's gonna be sub 44. <laughs> Minus five minutes and two seconds because of that. I only had one death in there. This. As long as I don't screw up Cortex royally, this is so good. I can't ha I can't get killed to him, or I can't die by him, and I can't make him miss. There we go, that's one down. Yeah, this will be sub 44. Provided he doesn't take forever with this. Come on, come on, come on, come we on. You got like what, 30 seconds left? Oh, I died! I jumped too late. Are you kidding me? Whatever. That's, that really sucks. That's gonna put me about 45 seconds behind. I could have such a good last warp four and then screw up Cortex. Considering Cortex is the second easiest boss in the game. <laughs> he really is. Tiny's the easiest. Actually, I take that back. Dingo Dial's second easiest. Cortex is second hardest. Because Dingo Dial does literally nothing. If you do it right, I should say. Oh, whoa, Celtic FC Days of Spades. 44-48. Nice. Really good, actually. I'm really yeah. happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Where My... did Celtic FC Days of Spades on? Uh, well, not World Tour, Metallica. Damn.